I'm Rob with Longevity Learning Lab. And uh, we're going to go ahead, we're going to make a motorized turntable for when you're welding a radius, you know, opposed to like when you're welding a pipe or a cylinder or whatever. You know, you got to weld and you got to go around, you got to stop, you got to go around or turn the table and turn the table. Well, we're going to make a turntable that's motorized so you just stay in one spot with your hand and let the turntable do the work for you. So you just, TIG welding for instance, you stay in one spot, rest your, your hand, just keep going and let it nice even bead around. And uh, yeah, you can buy, buy new ones, more expensive ones, but that's not what I'm about. So it's a do-it-yourself kind of thing. You've seen some other videos I've made. And uh, so we're gonna, just today we're gonna use our innovator, the 255i, we're gonna use the, the plasma end of it and uh, it's hooked up for the TIG welding right now, but I'm going to show you how to hook up the, the, um, the gun for the, the plasma. And uh, we're going to just cut this rim right in half, just right here at the seam. And that's going to be our base for the turntable. And we'll put the, the tabletop on top of this, and then underneath we'll come in there with the sprocket and all the motor and stuff like that so it'll turn. And I'll show you how we're going to do that, but let's get set up on this first. Okay, here's our innovator. And uh, it's set up for TIG welding right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up for our, our plasma cutter. And uh, so what we do here on the, the top of the unit where it says the TIG, the stick, and then the plasma, we'll just bring our, our uh, buttons down to the plasma, right? And that'll just give you your 30 amps. It's, that's what it's set at right now because I already got it programmed. And, uh, but it'll go up to 40 amps. And so all we got to do is just take our TIG attachments off. I've already loosened the butt. Most of them anyway. And uh, then we'll go ahead and plug in our, uh, our parts for, the, for the, the plasma. There we go. And our ground will stay right at the same. Keep the ground right where it's at. Just keep it at the table. Okay. So that's out of the way for our TIG welder. Now for the for the plasma, it's the same same plug, same same uh, same lead. But you got your little, uh, you got your airline, and your airline for the plasma goes in the same airline that your gas would be and that's in the back and uh, so you would disconnect your, your bottle and then just put up your airline and I 120 pounds is what I use and so we just hook this up and these are right handed 5 8 thread and this is just a, another ground and it, it, helps, it helps you have a ground that just goes right on there. Now with the airline in the back, you can have the dedicated airline that you just screw in, or you can have a, a, a quick release. And that's what I'm going to do. And I've got a little piece already made up, but you can tell Longevity what you want, and they'll put the right kind of fitting that you want on it. Okay, here we go. Let's go, let me get this. Then you got to remember on your plug there's that little there's a little um, a little slot right there so that'll fit right in there so you make sure all your little prongs are, are plugged in just fit it in and you don't have to put it real tight you just make it snug all it is is just a regular power power plug you know the airline you want to have tight enough so you're not losing air or your gas okay that's in, and that's in. So now we got our, we got our plasma. You can hear it. And uh, let me go get my gloves and my hood, and be right back. Okay, here's our overview of our table, and uh, what it is. We've got our table top here, and this is just a regular scissor lift table that I, I found, and I'm going to use that because I'm too cheap to buy one. And uh, here's the motor and the gear 
and then this is going to be our, our, um, our rim that I showed you at the beginning of the, the episode and then our sprocket, our sprocket and the chain and then the base of the unit and uh, what we're going to do with that rim, we're going to cut that in half and use that as the main, the main turntable and we're going to add some tubing across the top of that and I'll show you that later. And then here's the bottom of the base uh, that will anchor to the table and then with the motor and gear, this will be our on and off and this will be our safety and then we'll come down to a foot pedal here. This is one of our foot pedals here at Longevity with a little, little knob on the side and that will be for our speed control. Okay, and because you don't want the turntable to be moving too fast for you and when you're especially TIG welding. And uh, I made a, a stand that you can rest your arm on and stay in one spot while the turntable does all the work for you. And what I'm, for the motor and gear, well the motor, I'm using one of our uh, drive motors for our, uh, the MIG, MIG machine. And then a little potentiometer, the speedness control on that, or the foot pedal will have the speed control here too. I haven't decided yet. But the main thing I'm going to show you today is just taking the plasma and cutting that rim in half. And uh, the next one will show you how uh, with the, the shaft, how we're going to put that together because I've got two pieces. I'm going to go ahead and put those together and show you how to get the penetration in the weld and all that and keep it nice and true as much as you can. It's not rocket science. Okay, now we're getting started. Here's our good, this is going to be the, the base of our turntable, okay, it's just a, a rim that I got and it's not a standard car rim, it's a smaller, it's for like a tractor and uh, had, the, had the privilege and opportunity to work at the county fairgrounds here this past summer and uh, they turned me on to this and it was pretty cool, they were going to throw it away and it was small, that's what I liked about it and I didn't know what the heck I was going to do with it. But uh, so what I want to do is measure where I'm going to cut it off because you don't want to, the main thing I want to do is keep this pattern here and the integrity of that rim because for the turntable and then I'm going to put some structural tubing across it like that and uh, that's where you're going to anchor whatever you want to put on it and I'm not going to have a lot of weight whatever I'm going to be welding but uh, it's a good thing just to tips and tricks to show you how to make, make your own kind of thing. And uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure from the other side and I want to come in but just cut it right below that main seam right there and um, that way it's still nice and tight and I get the hub in there and the lug nuts and blah 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 and get it all nice and cut. So from the inside I want to go to this edge here down below right and uh, which is it's going to be four, four inches even so then I'd come out here with four inches and mark it and that's just below that seam so that gives me a line so when I'm making my cut that keeps me on track where I'm going so I'm not going too far or not going enough if you don't go enough you can go ahead and grind it but if you go too far that sucks you don't want to do that and so let me make our line make sure my plasma is all set up and we'll make some sparks. Okay now here's the rim and we've already determined our measurement from here to there and uh, I didn't like the four inches so I'm going to three and a half that way I'm not really, really on the seam here I'm gonna go right about there and so I just we will make our mark all the way down and what I do I just take my, my combination square and make your mark just like that go in a couple spots you, you notice how I got it at an angle but you're still going off of that edge there Okay, so you just turn it around as we go, make a few marks, because I'm going to show you another little trick after that. A couple of marks, and so on until you come around the other side. Okay, so we got our marks. Now we want that straight line. So I got a little piece of just plastic banding material. You can use anything. You can use a string. Make sure you got some of your lines marked up, lined up there, just like that. And that'll keep you in a nice, close enough line. And I'm going to throw a couple pieces of tape, but then we'll just go like that and make our mark. That way when you do cut it, you know you're not coming into your seam. And like I was saying, you're not cutting too much. And if, if you cut too less, then you just grind it off. So let me make our mark and uh, we'll, let's cut this thing. Okay, before I get started, I got my line cut here, and 
I had a presence of mind to think about which side I'm gonna have my line on because I wanna keep the certain side of the, the rim for my, my hub and stuff. I could have really hosed myself. Anyway, that's another story. What we're gonna do now, I wanted to show you with, uh, with your, uh, your plasma cutter, the contact tips and the cups. And I just happened to have looked at mine and mine really burnt up. And so that means I'm getting like too close. So I'm gonna use a guard to keep my, that distance of the arc and this little guard will go on the cup. But uh, I get my new, new tips going on here and that's a big thing because you wanna keep them nice and tight. See, it's nice and shiny now and if you ever need replacements, we've got them for you. So that's on there because you wanna keep these tips nice and firm. You know, don't have to put a wrench on them but you keep it nice and tight because otherwise it'll arc out and that's not good. So you're all nice and clean there. And then I'll put our other little cap on here. All right, we're ready to rock and roll now. That's how that works. So let me go ahead and see how this works. Now I've got paint on here, so I might arc out. I might have to just grind a little bit of paint off, but let's see first. Yeah, it's working good. Yeah, that's working okay. Let me work my way around here. Set up pretty good. And remember, just to watch, watch um, everything around your environment for the, the fire. Yeah, I might not, not, don't have a ground. There we go, try this. Anyway, you get the general idea. Let me go ahead and I'll finish it and uh, we'll show you how the, the cleanup of what I want to do there. Okay, now, now I got a cut, right? This is garbage. I don't want that. This is gonna be our top of the table. So, go ahead, I clean up this. Look at that, hardly any slag at all. And uh, yeah, this little plasma cutter works good, man. The innovator's great. So now I'll go ahead and I'll clean that up. And then we'll go ahead and I'm gonna put a little top on here too, a little piece of sheet metal, just, just to clean it up and make it look nice. And then the hub will come up from underneath and then there's our turntable right there. Okay, now we got this cut. So I clean this up and this is gonna be, this is actually the bottom. This will be the top right there, okay? Because the, like I said, the, the hub and the, the um, rod will the, come up from underneath. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and put some one by um, tubing, structural, heavy, heavy duty tubing, but it's only one by, it's an eighth of an inch wall. And uh, put those cross members there and I'm gonna make it down the road, I'm gonna make it so these can telescope out in case you put something with a bigger diameter don't need to do it here. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to clean this up and uh, go for our next phase. Our next phase is behind me. I'm going to make a fixture to hold our rod for the sprocket and all that, but it's two parts. So I'm going to show you how to clamp that down and uh, do all that on our next one. So for part one, I'm Rob and thank you for joining me on Longevity Learning Lab and we'll see you for part two.